Salut, David Roman here, and I'm here with my friend David Becker, who you probably know from Public Alchemy. He recorded all the bass because he's Public Alchemy's bass player. Hence the bass. And um, I have him here for these videos because he doesn't have any friends. And no, he does. He does. He's here because he's going to help me out with this video <laughs> in which we're going to talk about uh, an amazing new software from Overloud and you've used that on the album. On the album, yes. So if you hear the samples for Public Alchemy, all David's bases were processed with Mark Studio 2, which is a, a software that kind of emulates a bass amp, uh, a, a cab effects, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you how simple it is to hook it up and uh, and how to set up everything to record great quality bass in your studio. And then we'll do a follow-up video and I'll show you what the software can do. But first, let me show you how easy it is to plug this in. That is hard. Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. I, I thought this was supposed to be easy. This is, we've been on it for hours. What if I put this here? That, oh. what do you mean? This joke has not been approved? Super easy, very, very easy. Just hook up the bass to the to the computer via a sound card. Once that's done, I'm just gonna load my sequencer. In this case, I'm gonna use GarageBand, but Mark Studio 2 is compatible with pretty much any digital audio workstation on Mac and PC. I'm gonna create a new project. And once that project is created, I am going to add an audio track for David's bass. Now that my track is created, I'm going to adjust the levels a little bit. I'm going to make sure that David's bass is not clipping. I need to have a really clean signal. So, David, if you could just play a little bit. Because David's bass has active pickups, it's a little bit in the red. So I'm just going to adjust the levels on my sound card directly to have it just below the red zone. Now that we have good levels, I just need to add the plug-in to my bass track. I'm going to click here to see the list of plugins. I'm going to select Mark Studio 2. And the Mark Studio 2 plugin is active. And if I click on this, I can see the main interface. And let's select just uh, uh, one of the presets. Let's just select Pop Art Preset. I'm going to close this window. One last thing we need to do is to monitor the track, because if we don't, we're going to hear the direct signal of David and we don't want that. We want to record with um, the monitors on. For that I'm just going to go into my main tracks property and I'm going to click monitor on. And now David's bass is going to be processed by Mark Studio 2. I'm going to hit record. David, take it away. In the next video, David is going to demonstrate some cool bass grooves and I'll show you how to operate the software very, very easy. That's it. Thanks for watching this. I will see you next time. And until then, did you?